All right, what are you drinking? Uh, I've got myself a Citrus Coast White Belgium. Belgian, not Belgium, Belgian. That's so, probably from Belgium, right? Yeah, there you go, Belgian, Belgium. Um, yeah. So getting away from the sours this week for maybe hmm. only the second time okay. in our 15 episodes. Um, brought to you by South Beach Brewing Company. I'll give you one guess where they're from. Yeah. Pretty fucking cool looking can. It's got their uh, longitude and latitude on there. And here, let me put it up there. South Beach Brewing Company, a big old lemon. Okay, that looks cool. Very so it's cheeky. A Belgian style white ale brewed with lemon and lime. Okay. So there you go. Actually, it's from Orlando. So South Beach Brewing Company is in Orlando. <laughs> okay. okay. Maybe maybe they have a a few different facilities. Yeah, and maybe, maybe like they a started sister there and yeah. something. We'll see what we get, boy. Let's see. Maybe they got tired of their brewery getting robbed by Cubans, so they were like, "Ah, hey, let's let's go up here." Well, if you put like pine saw in a can, you might get a Belgian style white ale brewed with lemon and lime. That's not the <laughs> best. Uh, <laughs> That's not the best beer I've ever put in my gullet. Um, okay. Is it the worst? Hell no. I, no, okay. <laughs> no, no. We, um, you could spend nine ninety nine for a 30-pack in college for a pack that said beer on the side of it. <laughs> That's probably okay. the worst one. Um, ugh. Five. Ooh, okay. It's going to be a struggle to drink. It's, it tastes like cleaner. Dick. Yeah. A, you, you know what that... They that's probably the stuff from that shaker cup from that dude. Fuck. That yeah. I got the cocktail. You got the Shit. cocktail. Yeah, I'm gonna Damn. take another sip just to make sure I'm not going crazy. I'm also getting a little bit sick, so maybe my taste isn't but let's see. Well if it's pine salt esque, maybe it'll help cure your sickness. Man. Kills it's like 99. it's like like if you like opened up your like like dishwasher like I don't know if you get like those cascade packs or like the box and you like flip it open and you get like that mm -hmm. whiff of detergent. It's kind of like that. So that that went through their quality control process and they were like, yep, good. Send it out. It's not good. <laughs> All right. Redeem us, please. This week I have a sour back on back on the kick as much as I enjoyed the horchata. It's called Blue Puffs by Angry Chair Brewing. I like the name so far. Okay. And the uh, the flavor profile is Bluebees and Marshies. Bluebees? Bluebees and Marshies. I'm guessing like and blueberries marshies. and marshmallows. Let me see if I can. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Bluebees and Marshies. And turn it around. And let me see the front the, there. The rest of the can. Okay, a little bit of blueby action. Yeah, okay. so I guess a blueberry marshmallow sour. That sounds great. It does. Two of my favorite things. Oh, that's a that's a dark dark pink purple red. It's delicious. Is it? Can you taste both the blue bees and the marshy? It's very bluey right off the bat, and the marshies come in, come in clutch at the end. How about sour? Is it like pretty sour? It's it's got that initial tartness, but it like mellows out. So it's not like crazy. It's not like butt pucker and like no. Uh, okay. Um, I'll what you it giving a, her? I'll give it a nine point three. Whoa, that good? I could drink like. 12 of these but what about eat uh yeah if, if you <laughs> solidified it with the blue bees and the marshies so that's about 30 so of. that's our second nine plus beer then on the podcast so far because i had that vanilla barrel ale that i think would i give it a nine five yeah 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 okay. which is good but I'm trying to think of how impressive that is because we've only had the same beer one episode right um, I think that's correct. It's so starting to get to the be, point where I'm trying to remember them. So if this is episode 15, two different a piece, mine, it's like what, 29 different beers? 
and only two yeah. nine plus. Yeah. Huh. So either we're a little particular or there's just a lot of mediocre beer or both. Who knows? Yeah. Well, it's probably both. And with the majority being sours, us being the connoisseurs. Yeah, uh, it's got it. Uh, loosely. <laughs> Let's well, use that word a little loosely. <laughs> maybe not connoisseurs, but like, you know, you give someone else a sour, they they either like it or they don't. But when, Very that's true. Like, when that's like 90% of what we drink, we're a little more particular with well, it, I guess. Not really. I mean, not, at least not for me, 90% what I drink. Like, until we started recording and making this show, I wasn't going out of my way to find different brews and ales and no not and not for at home but like if if you were to go to a bar at least oh, for and me, we see I a would sour look yeah i would always look to see I'll if take they that, had please. a sour right. yeah right. that's a good point that's a good so, point that's a really good point actually um, that's a really good point i also don't go out a lot so <laughs> <laughs> right but when you do it's probably sour. yeah yeah that's that's the go-to that's the go-to 